keep going up the list of integers until you've list every every pair of numbers until you find the sum that you're looking for. So for instance, 1 times 24. I told you to think about the sign. You want the product to be a positive 24, yes? That means the two numbers you are looking for have to have the same sign, both positives or both negatives. How do you know which case, which is the case in this particular case? You look at the sum. Since you need two positive numbers or two negative numbers, which ones will add up to a positive number? If I make these positives or negatives? All right, so look, if I make these two negatives, I'm going to get 24 as a product, no problem. But when I add them up, what kind of number do I get? When I add, I get negative. Neg negative 25. I don't want a negative sum. I need these guys to be positive. And this will come with a little practice. Don't, don't agonize over this right now. All I'm doing is modeling the technique. Then you write down, uh, you check the sum. Do, do they add up to 11? Then you keep going. What's the next number after 1? Two. 2. You write it down. 2 times? 12. Do they add up to, add up to 11? Mm -hmm. No. Then you keep going. What's the next number after 2? 3. 3. 3 times? 8. Do they add up to 11? Yes. Yes. Then you're done. You write the 3 and the 8, and now you have solved the, the x game. Now, you may say, I saw the 8 and the 3 right away. They, by all means, don't waste your time doing this.